Hi, I'm Nick Burb. I'm the co-skipper on the VDA group uh, at Set Environment. Um, I'm sailing with Tongi de la Motte, a French friend of mine. Um, we're just about to start in, uh, in five hours, in fact. The Transat Jacques Vab from La Havre to Salvador in Brazil is just under four and a half thousand miles. I think it's going to take us about 20 days. Um, the forecast initially looks very good. We've got um, fairly light uh, northerlies, but um, that means we'll be able to sail directly along the, the rum line, so the, the direct line uh, to Cherbourg, which is the first peninsula we have to go around. Uh, then uh, during the late afternoon and, and early evening, the winds will pick up slightly and go around to the, the northeast and then eventually the east, nor east, northeast, and building up to maybe 20 knots, um, which will give us a very fast run across Biscay, which is traditionally um, sort of the difficult part of this race. However, um, Instead of the Azores being covered by a high pressure at the moment, which would give us a, um, northerlies, um, taking us downwind um, on the, the east side of the Azores, which is where the rum line is, there's instead a big low pressure there, which uh, means that if we were to sail down the, the rum line, so the direct line, then we'll have uh, headwinds. Um, so either we're going to have to sail um, quite a long way around, um, possibly even you know, quite close to the Azores, um, to get the downwinds or we're just going to have to battle our way through the, the upwinds on a direct line so we'll just have to monitor that situation and see where the low pressure goes. Hopefully it moves away and the, and the high pressure replaces it again. Um, we're racing against 30 boats. Um, there's a couple of um, a couple of stronger competitors, I think probably Fujifilm just here. Um, it's uh, some English guys, Alex Bennett and Michael Pedley. Um, Alex has in fact already won the, the TJV um, in the Open 50 class four years ago. Um, the boat just next to me here, Apart City, um, that's Yvonne Mouvelet and Patrick Morvan. Uh, Patrick uh, is a former skipper of Jet Services, which was one of the original Maxi Cats, um, and together they won uh, the race to Madeira early this year, and, and Yvonne also put in a good performance in the run. So, um, yeah, they're definitely one of the favourites. Um, looking. Around the fleet here we've got Dominic Vite, um, who won the, the Britain Ferries race earlier this season. Um, and he's a former winner of the Figaro, um, an excellent weather router um, and an experienced guy. Um, right at the, the head of our pontoon, which you can't see now, we've got um, Giovanni Soldini, uh, who's a former winner of the Around Alone. And in this race, uh, two years ago, he had a 60-foot trimaran, um, which unfortunately capsized and lost. So um, he's now back in the class 40, um, but uh, his design is um, from Guillaume Verdier, who's uh, part of the French um, America's Cup design team and has also been working with EPLP on the new group bail and Safran. So um, that certainly looks quite promising. Over on the, the fast dock over there, uh, number 60, or Soissons, as the French would say, um, is a new JPK. Uh, um, he's got a very um, successful couple of IRC boats um, and there's some good Figaro guys on board so you'd have to rank them up near the top two. Um, and obviously we've also got the other two Rogers boats, there were three of these built by CMI out in Thailand and uh, I think they're also by pretty even competitive crews so we'll have to see but we're pretty ready and in fact more ready than I've been for a long time in any race. <clears throat> so yeah, looking forward to it.